Good afternoon. Welcome to Noonday Prayer this Wednesday, September 1st, 2021. Today in the church here we remember David Pendleton Okerhater, deacon of the church, who died in the year 1931. The service order for today is found in the uh, Facebook page of All Saints Episcopal Church in Concord, North Carolina. And on behalf of the clergy and lay leaders of All Saints Church, we welcome you to this service of noonday prayer and prayers for healing. If you do not have a copy of the service program handy, there are some parts of the service that are found in the Episcopal Church's Book of Common Prayer. And I'll mention those pages in case you have a Book of Common Prayer handy. The opening verses are found in the prayer book on page 105 or on page 1 in your service programs. Please join in praying uh, in the, uh, the people's parts, uh, which in the program is fo are found in bold print. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. We continue with Psalm 96, verses 1 to 12. It's found also on page 1 in your service program, or in the Book of Common Prayer, on page 725. We will pray verses 1 to 12 responsibly by whole verse. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the whole earth. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Proclaim the good news of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations and his wonders among all peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He is more to be feared than all gods. As for all the gods of the nations, they are but idols. But it is the Lord who made the heavens. Oh, the majesty and magnificence of his presence. Oh, the power of the, and the splendor of his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, you families of the peoples. Ascribe to the Lord honor and power. Ascribe to the Lord the honor due his name. Bring offerings and come into his courts. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel of Luke, Luke chapter 10, verses 1 to 9. After this, the Lord Jesus appointed 70 others and sent them on ahead of him in pairs to every town and place where he himself intended to go. Jesus said to them, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore ask the Lord of the harvest, to send out laborers into his harvest. Go on your way. See, I am sending you out like lambs into the midst of wolves. Carry no purse, no bag, no sandals, and greet no one on the road. Whatever house you enter, first say, Peace to this house. And if anyone is there who shares in peace, your peace will rest on that person. But if not, it will return to you. Remain in the same house, eating and drinking whatever they provide, for the laborer deserves to be paid. Do not move about from house to house. Whenever you enter a town and its people welcome you, eat what is set before you, cure the sick who are there, and say to them, The kingdom of God has come near to you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. little something about David Pendleton Okerhater, deacon and missionary. God's warrior is an epithet by which David Pendleton Okerhater is known among the Cheyenne Indians of Oklahoma. The title is an apt one for this apostle of Christ to the Cheyenne was originally a sh soldier who fought against the United States government with warriors of other tribes 
and the disputes over Indian land rights. Born around the year 1851, by the late 1860s, Okerhater had distinguished himself for bravery and leadership as an officer in an elite corps of the Cheyenne fighters. In 1875, after a year of minor uprising and threats of major violence, Okerhater and 27 other warrior leaders were taken prisoner by the U.S. Army, charged with inciting rebellion, and sent to a military prison in Florida. Under the influence of a concerned army captain who sought to educate the prisoners, Okerhater and his companions learned English, gave art and archery lessons to the area's many visitors, and had their first encounter with the Christian faith. The captain's example, and that of other concerned Christians from as far away as New York, had their effect on the young warrior. He was moved to answer the call to transform his leadership in war into a lifelong ministry of peace. With sponsorship from the Diocese of Central New York and the financial help from Mrs. Pendleton of Cincinnati, he and three other prisoners went north to study for the ministry. At his baptism in Syracuse in the year 1878, he took the name David Pendleton Okerhater in honor of his benefactress. Soon after his ordination as a deacon in 1881, Okerhater returned to Oklahoma. There he was instrumental in founding and operating schools and missions through great personal sacrifice and often in the face of apathy from the church hierarchy and resistance from the government. He continued his ministry of service, education, and pastoral care among his people until his death on August 31, 1931. When he first returned to Oklahoma in 1881, he said, You all know me. You remember when I led you out to war when I went first, and what I told you was true. Now I have been away to the east, and I have learned about another captain, the Lord Jesus Christ, and he is my leader. He goes first, and all he tells me is true. I come back to my people to tell you to go with me now in this new road, a war that makes all for peace. David Pendleton Okerhater, Deacon and Missionary. As we hear the story of David Okerhater, um, I'm brought to the gospel for today. Jesus says, I am sending you out like wolves in the uh, like lambs in the midst of wolves. Carry nothing extra, but first say when you enter a house, peace to this house. And if anyone is there who shares in peace, your peace will rest on that person. But if not, it will return to you. Jesus is the Prince of Peace. Although many people have fought battles over Jesus Christ and the interpretation of his ministry, Jesus stands before us as one who wishes to bring peace between warring or disagreeing factions. I pray that as we look at the example of David Pendleton Okerhater today, we will find peace and healing in his example, but more so in the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, our captain, our leader, and our Prince of Peace. We continue with the prayers, and they are found on page 2 in your service program, or on page 106 in the Book of Common Prayer. And we'll be doing the short form of the traditional Lord's Prayer. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. We pray the collect for David Pendleton Ocreator. O God of unsearchable wisdom and mercy, you chose a captive warrior, David Ocreator, to be your servant and sent him to be a missionary to his own people and to execute the office of deacon among them. Liberate us who commemorate him today from bondage to self and empower us for service to you and to the neighbors you have given us. Through Jesus Christ, the captain of our salvation, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We continue with the Litany of Healing. I ask that we please name before God, either out loud or in silence, all those for whom we offer our prayers. Let us pray for people whose political views are so stringent that they forget to love one another, even those of differing political views. We pray for the people of Afghanistan. Father, that you'll be with them through Jesus and guide them into a road of peace. Bless all those who are dying or in serious need of prayers for healing. We lift them up to you, loving God, asking for your grace, your healing, and your peace. The response to the first uh, few petitions is, We praise you and thank you, O Lord. God the Father, your will for all people is health and salvation. We praise you and thank you, O Lord. God the Son, you came that we might have life and might have it more abundantly. We praise you and thank you, O Lord. God the Holy Spirit, you make our bodies the temple of your presence. We praise you and thank you, O Lord. Holy Trinity, one God, in you we live and move and have our being. We praise you and thank you, O Lord. The response to the next few petitions is, Hear us, O Lord of life. Lord, grant your healing grace to all who are sick, injured, or disabled, that they may be made whole. Hear us, O Lord of life. Grant to all who seek your guidance and to all who are lonely, anxious, or despondent, a knowledge of your will and an awareness of your presence. Hear us, O Lord of life. Mend broken relationships and restore those in emotional distress to soundness of mind and serenity of spirit. Hear us, O Lord of life. Bless physicians, nurses, and all others who minister to the suffering, granting them wisdom and skill, sympathy and patience. Hear us, O Lord of life. Grant to the dying peace and a holy death, and uphold by the grace and consolation of your Holy Spirit those who are bereaved. Hear us, O Lord of life. Restore to wholeness whatever is broken by human sin in our lives, in our nation, and in the world. Hear us, O Lord of life. There are different responses for the next petitions. You are the Lord who does wonders. You have declared your power among the peoples. With you, O Lord, is the well of life, and in your light we see light. Hear us, O Lord of life. Heal us and make us whole. Let us pray. Almighty God, giver of life and health, send your blessing on all who are sick and upon those who minister to them, that all weakness may be vanquished by the triumph of the risen Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Savior of the world, by your cross and precious blood, you have redeemed us. Save us and help us. We humbly beseech you, O Lord. I wish to offer at this time prayers for healing and I will offer two prayers in particular. The Almighty Lord, who is a strong tower to all who put their trust in him, 
to whom all things in heaven, on earth, and under the earth bow and obey, be now and evermore your defense, and make you know and feel that the only name under heaven, given for health and salvation, is the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. As you open yourselves to God's healing love, may our Heavenly Father grant you the inward anointing of the Holy Spirit. Of His great mercy, may He forgive you your sins, release you from suffering, and restore you to wholeness and strength. May He deliver you from all evil, preserve you in all goodness, and bring you to everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. There is a prayer that I would like us to pray together. It is found at the bottom of page 3 in your program sheets. But if you have a book of common prayer, it is found near the end or near the bottom of page 832. It's a prayer of uh, self-offering to God. Together let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, so draw our hearts to you, so guide our minds, so fill our imaginations, so control our wills, that we may be wholly yours, utterly dedicated to you. And then use us, we pray, as you will, and always to your glory and the welfare of your people. Through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. May God the Father bless you, God the Son heal you, God the Holy Spirit give you strength. May God the Holy and Undivided Trinity guard your body, save your soul, and bring you safely to his heavenly country, where he lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you very much for joining in this service of Noonday Prayer with Healing Prayers on this first day of September 2021. We'd like to invite you to all of the All Saints Concord, North Carolina online services. Uh, this Sunday and every Sunday at 11 a.m. we live stream our 11.10 a.m. service. Every Tuesday at 8 p.m. we offer Compline or Night Prayer online and Every Wednesday, uh, next Wednesday and the Wednesdays following at 12 noon, we offer Noonday Prayer. Uh, the website that uh, would interest you if you're interested in, in uh, joining these services is uh, www.allsaintsconcord, all one word, dot org. And you can also find these services or links to these services on the All Saints Episcopal Church Concord, North Carolina Facebook page. Thank you again for joining us uh, in Noonday Prayer. Take care and God bless you this day and always. <laughs>